Five. Anyway, uh, nine super five versus Web JP. This is top six, so loser gets fifth place. Take it away, guys. That's hype. All right. Right here we got CSS versus Wario. I'll have to fuck with that later. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I was trying to pop out the chat so I could have the replay controller, the chat, and the the stream all in like one overlay. Unfortunately, I am not now distracted, <laughs> and that's that's no bueno. <laughs> all good. All good. So, one funny thing that I was watching the stream earlier. Right? Where I went to enjoy a, a pasta dish. And one thing that I always see with Nine Super Pie, despite his really solid, like, Wario, he knows his Wario stuff super well, he doesn't weave much. Like, his. Like one of Wario's best strengths, I feel like, is his ability to, like, in a, in a similar way to Peach Float, how they're able to go in, then out, and force you to miss space. He doesn't do that as much. His movement with Wario is very quick, but very much more committal than the character needs to be. Yeah. And against a player like Webb, who definitely knows how to keep people out, it can be, like, over committing like that can be deadly, if not just dangerous. Yeah, and I, I, we saw this in previous stuff as well. Like, Webb would cover a lot of overcommitments with the paralyzer into like up B. Then you had people dying at around like 70 or 80 because they just went too aggro. And so it makes me wonder if that's gonna really work here. Especially with the, the caliber that of play that uh, Web has. Well, you know, if you're flip kicking like that, you're always gonna put yourself in a jam. I like that. Oh. Hold down gang. Interrupt to that. Uh, boost kick is incredibly linear, which people don't more so than people give it credit for because you know her jump height and flip kick exist. But anything will interrupt boost kick, and most of the time, if you manage to interrupt that without a flip kick, then you die. Yeah, that was that's probably one of the few examples of where an overcommitment can actually work out in your favor. Like you threw out that down air, knew it missed, and just immediately went for that up to cover that vulnerable boost kick. Nice like beer reverse movement with Paralyzer. That's a long beer reverse too. Full hot, full hot beer reverses on a full on a jump height like ZSS's can put you in the reactionary range even on Wi-Fi. But Nine was still quite. He was eager. He was eager for the punish. <laughs> in some cases that can be good, but in some cases that can. Be good. Fortunately. Oh, got some wrong way. way. Still a good amount of damage, though. A little bit of a lead. This is the tech chase on the left platform. He loves that that chomp command grab. I see him like that's his that's his mix, right? That's his yeah. trick to use a a commentaryism. Uh, full hop aerial land with chomp, especially on ledge. I, see. <laughs> <laughs> But it's it's good, but it really only covers neutral getup. So you're once Web realizes that he can pick any other option, he's good. Is that gonna? I don't think that's gonna be a kill, right? Yeah, can't do. Now Wario does not have a kill. Throw. Yeah, tragic. Except like maybe back throw at like 150, well, probably higher. Right, we got Web with the Get Out of Jail free card into up B. Now with two stocks to one. Yeah, you see, you see nine. Like he was not gonna settle for a grab at any, at that percent. And uh... now, so I, this is okay. First of all. Timers are is at two minutes, so you might have to keep that in mind. Not even for a timeout, though. ZSS can run away for two and a half minutes if she chose, if she and Web so chooses. Yes. But uh, more in line to keep in keep in mind for half waft. There it is. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wario win. 
Wario just laughing like a maniac, knowing how cheese that is. Up her into half walk. Jeez, Kurt. Falling, falling up here is pretty insane. Jeez. You didn't even I'm need to double jump. Jabbing? He didn't. No, not usually. But he he baited out the jab one, it looked like. And why Webb was mashing jab one out of neutral tech is beyond me. But normally hitting a frame one option when you have time to hit an option is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think he tried to use it as a get uh, get me off tool. Like maybe he was expecting like a dash attack or just some sort of aggressive pro to the ground. And then Sir Pi was just like, yeah, that's a foolish option. I'm just gonna hit you from the air and proceed to get my combo. Three, two, one. Forgive me for asking, this is best of three, correct? Top six is best of three. Uh, top six is all best of five. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. So this should be best of five as well. Let's confirm. Uh... Yes, this is five. All right, right here with the little bit of a lag switch, but all good. Uh, I see Sweet Lou, I'm, I am reading chat, and oh, that was nice. I like those, I like ending combos with Nair rather than additional up air, just especially on tri-plants, because Warrior flows super well in advantage, and getting any sort of platform reset is uh, pretty dang good. Which leads me to the stage counter pick, as I was going to mention, thank you Sweet Lou for the question. Uh, CSS always wants walls. It lets her do so much more off stage than just like run off and have flip kick to get back. Because now you don't need flip kick to get back. Who missed tech? And of course, like ZSS as well on Battlefield, so triplats are innately in her favor. Of course, if Nine just keeps utilizing his more stronger raw kill power and his mastery of these platforms, remember, he was the one that counterpicked Battlefield against Wolf, of all characters, uh, then he seems like he's in a pretty solid spot. Ooh, misses the fall out here. It's a tighter hitbox than it seems, so... Even more impressive that you see like, Gluttony run around and land falling up there. It's like it's nothing. Yeah, he's not going to fall for that, that re reverse once again. Thank you, Slovenia with the raid. He's making all those Greninja moves with all of the, the frog players. Yeah, see, so that's fun, fun little thing that ZSS can continue to do. Her <laughs> flip jump gives her an extra walk jump, basically. Hmm. It's it's really good. Also, wait, what happened to what happened to his first stock? I was treating this like it was a two stock game. <laughs> oh, um, you got a web got like an early kill at some point. I can't quite remember, but it was like almost a zero to death. This is the final kill. This will... Yeah, just good neutral oh play, I'd say. Net damage. Yeah, there he goes. Baited him out with another uh, V. B reverse, but facing backwards. So it functions like a wave bounce, but much easier to input. <laughs> hmm. So, if your character can do it, consider. Raw or B reverse. It's a it's a good it's a good option. If your character can do it, of course. Like, you know, not every character has a B reverse option. Back and back around. So electronic dance music web J. Alright. Didn't nine 
didn't he win last week? Or is that two weeks ago? Um, I don't quite remember. Um, look at the history here. Super Pie won. I know Super Pie won Breakpoint. That was last week. Ah, he won. Co he won Break. Yeah, he did win Breakpoint. He's placed well at some of these. He, like Xeno Wi-Fi 31, he got third. Uh, so he's done. He's done well. The break point was the one he won. Okay. Mystery solved. We can all go home. Oh yeah, the last two weeks were Tilde. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tilde went on a tear. Yeah, he. Not in this bracket, but he for sure looked dominant these past two weeks. Of course, now there's guaranteed to be a new reigning a champion for post or heading into December. I should specify. Certainly. This too was the kind of thing. That's probably fine. I understand its motivations. I mean, dead. No, right. I like the ledge trap with the bike, just preventing Webb from going through the air, kind of just relying on that flip kick to maintain center stage. <laughs> wow, Ooh. he didn't die. No rage. That's gonna kill? Yeah, I caught him jumping. Like, ZS has her moves, sometimes they don't work, but. Beat for beat, she does have a very excellent kit, and up smash is kind of at the cornerstone of, well, flip kick is the cornerstone of it all, but up smash is up there. Like, it, ha. Huh. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit low percent. I would have expected, like, a near and, like, up air, and maybe the walk, as opposed to just double up air. Hey, t -John, thank you for the host. Appreciate it, t -John. Yeah, it's interesting to watch how Warriors Confirms develop, because all of them are insane, because Waft is insane, but because he can, all of his combos can do so much damage, his Confirm ranges fly faster than it, us than it usually seems, given how like large the percent window can seem. Only really up tilt Waft is true at all percents. So we previously saw our web take that stock. It was like Super Pie went for the second hit of Nair, and Web was able to just up the out of that. Does that occur all the time, or just within a given percentage range? Like the up in Nair. Uh, it depends. So it, it is percent based. Um, Wario's like more you damage uh, knockback scaling isn't as impressive as you would think which can lead to waft confirms but it can also make it so uh, if he's at a high enough percent then nair one into nair two can be a little bit tougher than it usually is <laughs> of course mid percent is when wario thrives and can kill you right about now assuming he didn't use his half block which he just did <laughs> Now, it's, now we just got a, an even Steven type of game, and if we've been watch, if anyone's been watching Web, you know he's uh, he's playing the dashback game on point, utilizing the thin hurt box of ZSS and her pretty solid dash to bait out the incredible combo starters that Wario has and punch. Yeah, that dash attack. He threw out so many dash attacks, and they were just either getting shielded. Just completely avoided by jump. It really costed him there. Yeah. Yeah, he's really hunting. Oh, I mean, that's just an optimal punish. 
dash attack is great combo finisher, but if you, it's one of his more risky ones. Oh. Mm. You know, just a little, it's the little things, right? That <laughs> the miss, the miss ledge into fast fall, so you can still snap. Like that's it. It gets you out of danger, and it gives a little bit of misdirection. Like if you can make your make your stocks survive that much longer it not only helps you against any character but against wario specifically because you're almost always playing with two stocks to start i would like to see jagram use utilize bike just a little bit more uh, it's not only as a projectile but as just a means of extending hitboxes and uh, being a Thing that DSS suddenly has to avoid because Wario has a pretty good item toss range, and it's utilizing that is what makes is adds even more depth to an already incredible character. Yes, it is best of five from here on out. So the potential potentially Web can put this away right now. Grab. And finish to get a little bit of frame trap there with the beam here. Web is never heading straight in. He's always kind of looking for he's looking for a jump, he's looking for a dash in. He's never just expecting uh, nine to stay in one place. Which is key not only as a player, but also against Wario, since he moves so so frustratingly fast despite his uh his girth. <laughs> Can definitely be intimidating. Especially when he goes for bite, because at that point you really have much direction to go. He's maintaining so much stage control. I like Good that. Down air. Yeah, baited it the or that's that's what I mean. Like when Wario can weave in and out to force overextension or make options coverage, as he should be dead here. Uh, he baited out the uh, the drift to ledge and by extension and subsequent air dodge, then cover that because Wario can still make it. Whoa! Oh, he's a little, a little bit too high. Okay. I was that could have been that. Yeah. yeah, a little too high. Just a little. Why are your noises, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had it. He had the Tekken. He didn't just believe in it. He's gotta believe, man. He's gotta go for it. Like you Sometimes go for it. Sometimes it's it really makes the difference because you'll go for a read, but then you won't trust it. So you'll look to like extend off of something else or expect your opponent to pick it in. But you were positioned correctly. You just didn't you didn't pull the trigger. And now you've given ZSS a lead. You still have a full waft, so it's not really a lead. It's a pseudo lead, but. Yeah, ZSS can run away from you, and her thin hurt box can make it uh, hard to land anything. It's not going to be easy to find something like a down tilt or uh, something, some sort of confirm like that. Uh oh, he uses the wobbly for it. It's like, eh, I need to get rid of the stock. If you're playing the waft game, then I can see if you I can see the idea on that because you're trying to prolong the game and therefore get your half waft by the end of the game. Like, that's like where you can live long enough to be is heavy enough to live for that time. Also, he was only at 45%, so Warrior's combos are pretty good. But we all come it always comes back to the the ever-present enigma. How do you hit ZSS? <laughs> the answer is you don't. Sometimes. Yeah, you never do, dude. He has no way. 
Web is astutely aware that he used his bike early, right then. So all it took was a couple more hits, and that's all it did. All, it, all you need. No jump, no bike, a miserable upbeat. Warrior's gone. those dashbacks that he was doing. Like I wanna I wanna point this out a little bit more. Okay, this is a different replay. Never mind. I missed my opportunity. <laughs> I'm trying to utilize this like uh, this controller, this replay controller. Every time I think of something to say the moment's passed. <laughs> All right. 